Welcome to The Connection Show. Joining me today from Canada is Lillian Brumet. Welcome to the show, Lillian. Hi, and hi to everyone that's listening today. Thanks for joining us. Well, we just can't wait to get to know you a little bit better. But before we do, we'd love to tell you about the Travel to Connect. Uh, 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 Braveheart Workshops has started encouraging people to travel together, to get to know each other. And, you know, Lillian, the reason I decided to do this is I met these amazing people from Canada and they were staying at a villa in or a, a, one of the homes that the man built in Aruba. So I got this idea, what, what would it be like to invite people you don't even know to go on vacation and travel to connect? So let's listen to this commercial and I hope you might join us in Aruba. Join us for the hope, health, and healing Aruba Connections Getaway for Men and Women, February 5th through the 11th, 2023. Are you overworked, stressed out, feeling exhausted? Is it time to spoil yourself, breathe in life, and relax at private villas in Aruba for six nights and seven days. Renew your mind and body. Discover greater self-awareness. Join in connection, wellness, stillness, movement, enhance inner peace. Experience amazing beaches. Enjoy snorkeling, area attractions, shopping till you drop. Dine at fabulous beachfront restaurants. Imagine releasing anxiety, reconnect with yourself, restore your soul, bring your friends, Enjoy fresh and savory cooked meals, lasting memories. Join us now. Register today. Book your flight and get away to Aruba, February 5th through the 11th, 2023. Register by going to BraveheartWorkshops.com. Pack now and see you on the island of Aruba. Well, welcome back to the show. I, I'm sure by looking at that, you can't wait to get away out of this cold and snow. In the video, you'll notice it said that the dates were February 5th through the 11th. However, we will be there from the, <clears throat> excuse me, the 5th to the 14th. So you can pick the dates to come between the 5th through the 14th and you can make a decision to stay five, six, or seven nights. So with that, we don't waste, want to waste any more time uh, from Lillian. So Lillian, if you could take us on a journey of your life from your childhood and share with the audience a little bit about growing up and what life was like for you and how it's led you to who you are and what you're doing today. You know, that's a really interesting question, Jill. I, I truly believe that my past is the the catalyst to give, the, to, for me to be like so driven as I am today and so passionate about what I do today. A lot of us, you know, we look back at our past and we think, oh, these terrible things happened and woe is me. And I do that sometimes too. But then I also realized that those things were stepping stones to get me to where I am now. And it was difficult. It was horrible. It was awful. Yes. But the journey led me to where I am now. And I'm ever so grateful for being where I am now. You know, it all started uh, back in the day when my mother was married to an engineer. He actually worked for an off branch of NASA. And she had her three children with him. They had quite a difference in age. I think she was like 18. He was like 40 when they married or something like that. But unfortunately, he got involved in a car accident. He got addicted to the drugs. He had some mental, um, I guess, damage because I the 
the car fell into a pool or something like that. So he was, you know, uh, cut off from air for a while. So he had some healing journey that he was uh, coming over. And, and those are the days when it was a little easier to get addicted to your drugs than it is now from, the, you know, coming out of the hospital because, you know, back then it wasn't so, uh, uh, you know, they were giving a lot more of it. And it was the 70s. And he was turning to a person that she didn't want to be with anymore. He got quite abusive. I didn't see any of that. I was like three years old when all of this happened. Um, and she left him. Um, then she ended up starting her own business. She did sewing. She did cleaning for people. And she supported her three kids, stayed out of the system by doing that. We lived really frugal, very carefully. We were just on the edge, you know, but she always found a way to get that food on the table. She often made really bad choices when it came to men. She ended up marrying five times in her lifetime. Um, and the last one was a good one, but there were a couple real bad ones in there and a couple real uh, not very good relationships that she had in between those marriages. And so as a child, I always felt like I was dragged, you know, from one relationship to another, one house to another. We moved more than 13 times before I was eight years old when we emigrated to Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and my mom answered a newspaper ad and ended up marrying a farmer out in the bush. And he ended up being quite the fella. So uh, she ended up sending me away rather than leaving him. She sent me away yet again. So I was away from her a lot, you know, with her, not a with her, dragged from one, you know, not great to a not so great. And unfortunately, that really created this barrier between us. I was like this angry kid, you know, when she finally brought me back. And I didn't really know my family very well. So I felt really isolated and uh, like a stranger. I remember one time when she... Uh, brought me back with when she was still married to this guy and I had to take this really long bus trip Greyhound bus trip must have been about 16 hour trip right really long trip all these stops and everything I was did it alone I was like nine years no 10 years old I think at the time and uh, I had to do this alone so I was terrified there's all these predators around you know so I was clinging to all the women and the the older ladies sitting next to them I'm sure they loved that but you know I was just like trying to find safety on the way so I arrived there and guess where I got to spend my holiday with my family underneath the kitchen table because they didn't have a room for me so I slept underneath there and that made me feel really welcome so then she brings me back when she finally decides to leave this guy and she's living in a women's shelter. So we're living there. And then we moved to the second stage, second housing, uh, where it's kind of sponsored by the women, women's shelter. And she finally gets herself on her feet. And so there we are, you know, this troubled 12 year old. Right. <laughs> and this traumatized woman who's just trying to get by. And it was oh. not a good combination. So 13 years old. I'm on my own, on my own at 13 years old. So I was really determined and very, uh, you know, self, self-disciplined self and self-sustaining um, by then. Um, so I had already gained the skills. I knew how to cook. I knew how to clean. I knew how to work. You know, I had worked a lot. So I just started doing a lot of random jobs. I was cleaning house. I was working for nurseries, farms, working in the fields, just earning cash wherever I could. And I ended up being able to pay my rent. And I even had some runaways come and stay with me sometimes. I was the, like, go-to, the little the place to get comfort, you know. My door was already always open. And so I went on this journey, you know, into my 20s, well, into my like 18, 19, I started uh, on this healing journey where I was absorbing all the non or the, the self-help books as I could, um, learning, growing, taking school, getting my grade 12, getting some college, eventually evolved into starting my own business. And this is about when Dave and I were getting serious. We had met and dated for a while, uh, steady, you know, steady dating. But then it started getting really serious right around the time that I was taking the courses to start my own business and get into hospitality management and a few other activities. And um, that was super scary for me, getting involved with, like, this is feelings now. Oh, my goodness. You know, so I was really scared and <laughs> ready to run at every drop of the hat. But, you know, he helped me communicate. He helped me um, through my healing process. I was already on it, but he helped me through it. And, um, and, and where he, did, he was and, just a really good tool, tool for me to get better. And where did you and him meet? 
<laughs> well, he actually grew up and was raised in one area, one family, one set of parents, which is totally strange to me, right? <laughs> and he was brought up in the Okanagan region of, of BC. And uh, that's where we met and married. And then we ended up moving here. So what happened was, was we were living in, in this area and we decided, you know, we really wanted to buy a house and, you know, we we're looking at starting a family. We were trying to have children, which we never ended up being able to do. Um, and we, we were going through that stage in life. I was running my business and then boom, I got hit by a car. So I was in this three car pileup. I was in the middle. And that put me into physiotherapy for 18 months. So the first year, it was five hours a day, five days a week. And it slowed down after that, you know, slowly weaning down to a couple hours of therapy a day and then, you know, moved forward from there. So I realized I lost my business. I'm having to recover from this physical thing. What is happening with my life? We can't have children. It was a really, really dark time in my life. And I well, kind of fell into the depression. Well, it's amazing, too, to connect the dots back to your biological father, who had the same stuff with a car accident, right? He did. And that's I, that's really strange that you brought that up. I didn't connect the dots and that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And so um, at that time, I, I you know had to crawl out of depression yet again. And so... Um, I said to Dave, you know, I feel like I need to change my life entirely. I don't want to live this life of trying to do all the shoulds. I wanted to follow a passion. I wanted to find something that was going to give me a meaning and a reason to go forward and move on in life. Because at that stage, I didn't want to. And so we just completely changed our life. I cut off newspapers, magazines, any negative person, conversation, thought pattern, anything out of my life, out of my life completely created this box of positivity around myself, very protective until I was strong enough to start, you know, opening the, the flaps of that box and start peeking my head out at the world again. And so I had to go through that stage. We ended up moving to a location that we've been wanting to move to in our retirement years. You know, we had been caregiving for our parents and they were, you know, slowly, you know, passing on one at a time. And so we were watching that, you know, those golden years, they may not ever come. You know, we may not ever reach those golden years for one thing, and they may not be golden when we get there. So our thing was like, this is dumb. Why are we struggling so much now for tomorrow when there's that tomorrow may never come? So we decided to live for today, this moment. Every breath is a chance to make a difference in the world. Every single breath. And that's what we focused on. We created Brahmat Media Group around that and just started, uh, you know, living our life where we wanted to live it and how we wanted to live it. 33 years of marriage, and we're, um, we've been in our dream location for 12 years, grow like 60 to 70 percent of our fruits, vegetables, and nuts right here on our own property. We live in an amazing uh, valley that's just this beautiful zone in Canada, very, very environmentally minded uh, community city that, you know, we're very protective of the environment and it's just a beautiful beautiful place to live and we live our passion you know making a difference through teaching music and our youtube channel and our blogs and our books there's a lot of different things we have going on but every single thing the main focus is is to make a difference in the world to leave a positive legacy and to feel like our value has like our life has value well <clears throat> excuse me sound has so much healing you know, yes. sound brings healing. I I actually uh, downloaded a Rife sound machine and I've been using that Rife sound. Like last night, I put it on just even to decrease anxiety and stress in my life. And just, you, I, I bought, like you said, you got new little headphone uh, plugs. So I got the round ones, <clears throat> uh, Lillian, and I put a, a sock on my wrist and I take the round headphones and put it on my wrist and plug it into my laptop and you can play the sound waves and have them go into your body while I'm sleeping. So I'll sleep with this on for like two hours and the sound waves just bring healing to my body. Mm, that must result in the most restful sleep. Do you wake up feeling different? I have, I do have a shift. I mean, it's amazing. And you can put on mm -hmm. any illness, like anything. If you get an ear infection, a sinus infection, cancer, 
um, lymphatic, anything. They've got every sound wave, and you can put up to seven settings. Insomnia is on there. So if I'm having a sleepless night, I could put insomnia to help me go to sleep. It's amazing. Right. But So when you have this ministry now, I call it a ministry of healing <laughs> with sound, mm -hmm. with sound. I also did a retreat with this amazing woman who's a Native American Indian. She did her, her drumming sounds to heal from PTSD. So mm -hmm. share, share a little, I wish Dave was on with you too. Tell, share a little, <laughs> a little bit about Dave and what he does with his healing music. Okay, well, Dave's been, a, a, I guess, a professional musician for, gosh, longer than he's been with me. So I'm going to say a good 37 years. He's been a performing and, and musician. Um, he started out, of course, you know, as a young man playing with his friends in the garage and eventually playing live and those kinds of things. He really started to study sound therapy with drums probably about, I'm going to say 20 years ago. And that's when he started to realize as a teacher, because at that point he had become a teacher, a drum teacher, um, he was noticing the difference in the youth when they were taking these lessons. So I'll give you an example of this one person, um, he, this, this youth who was taking lessons. His family was an extreme religious family. And so he was very limited to what he was exposed to and allowed to be exposed to. And um, so he came to the place very shy and very unsure of himself. And he felt like, um, like afraid to express himself on the drums. And by the end of about, oh, I'm going to say a couple months worth of lessons, you could hear the joy emanating from the studio. Like I would be up, upstairs, you know, and you could hear the joy emanating from the studio, from this from this youth, um, from what he was getting from out of it. And his personality changed. He'd come marching up the driveway, hey, how's it going? And he'd be talking to stuff. Nothing like what he was before, shuffling and shy and oh my goodness. And, you know, and he totally changed his, the way he was um, behaving and feeling about himself. He would walk out feeling, I did this. I feel good about this. I accomplished something. And, you know, it's the energy. It's all the, the synopsis just flying in the head because it just lights up your brain with all of this activity, playing and learning music. And um, it just really improved him as a person. Uh, a couple of years ago, we had a friend of ours, uh, a fellow stu a student, actually, who, who works with um, people with limited abilities. And she brought one of her clients over. And so her and the handler and this person came and that uh, individual was so energized and excited about the drums and she got really into it and she was she left the room uh, saying stuff like, I'm a good drummer, I'm a really good drummer and she was really excited about it, you know, and seeing that personality change with people but you can see that with live performances too dave sees that when he goes and he plays live he feels like his mission is to take you out of your darkness and give you a break give you a moment to just feel and joy and and express yourself and dance and be a part of the music and he feels that that alone like just going out and seeing live music that alone because it takes you out of your rut right you're not in your same rut you're not in your same circle feeding yourself the same negativity or the same stresses all of a sudden you're not thinking about your mortgage you know looming over your head anymore and you know the argument you had with your teenager you know that morning or something like that all your stresses just disappear and you're having a wonderful time and you're out there dancing and you come back to your world a slightly better ho person, hopefully, because you've had that break. Well, I love what you're saying. I wish Dave was right here and I could have him Me at, too. My, at my <laughs> at my house because my, my father and sister died two years ago, um, two days mm -hmm. apart, and my stepmom moved in with us. And she's now 87. And my stepmom was never raised with any kind of religion. And so... She never went to church, but my dad loved God. And so when she mm -hmm. moved in with us, we told her, you have to come to church with us. So she's been going to church with us for two years now. And she's got moderate and, and is moving into more severe dementia. 
and she's mm -hmm. extremely hard of hearing. She has hearing aids, but she barely, she has, you have to look right at her to talk to her. So when we take her to church, 98% of the time she can't hear the message. She zones out because of her dementia. But the only thing she has ever said, Dave would like this, and I'd love to have him give some insight to this. She goes, um, I really like the drumming. And I said, what do you like? And she goes, I like the beat. So she doesn't even know what the message is, but she can, right. she can hear the beat of the music. And she likes the beat because she can't hear the words, but something about the drumming beat she connects with. Absolutely. Yeah, there's all kinds of ways of using drums. The The healing power of drums is just incredible because it does wake up those synopsis in your head. It really does. Like if you look at a graph, if they put, you know, the electrodes on your head and you saw it on this screen, which, of course, I can't show you, you would see it just light right up when you're when you're drumming. And so it's really good for people that have had head trauma that are dealing with PS, uh, all of those, the anxiety disorders, the it, many of the, you know, um, memory issues and things like that really good for that one thing i do re recall was speaking to someone who works down in california and they go into uh groups that focus on working with dementia they have these classes and they go and they start singing some of the classics of their time and all of a sudden these people who you know couldn't hardly speak or they couldn't you know, really connect the dots between their sentence or something now they're all of a sudden they're spitting out the lyrics they're moving in their chairs, they know the songs, you know, it brings them out of the inner world that they're in. It, you know, they might shrink right back in it as soon as the song's over, but it did bring them out in it. And it's quite amazing the transformation mm -hmm. that can happen. That's really good. I'll, I'll take advantage of doing that. I think that it helped because she sits in her room, the bedroom, all day long just staring at a TV. She doesn't even turn the sound on because she can't hear the words. And so she's very like recluse all day long and very antisocial. So that's a good idea. So take us, right. tell us, break down a little bit more. I'm gonna first um, show your bio here really quick. So okay. this is a Lillian Dave's by, uh, by, bio and their website. It's got a link of different things that you can connect with them. So this is how you can find them. And then um, uh, I'm gonna just play one commercial from my sponsor holy hydrogen lillian they're a phenomenal company that's made this hydrogen machine and you put it on with water in it and it produces hydrogen water and you drink that and hydrogen is known to heal cellular cellular growth it helps with all kinds of illnesses arthritis and cancer and lupus but hydrogen water so listen to this commercial and then i'd like to learn a little bit more about you. Hydrogen is used by health professionals as a powerful antioxidant and the number one tool to fight inflammation. Studies show therapeutic potential in cancer, diabetes, digestive, and heart issues, and essentially every organ and system in the body. This is not medical advice, because I'm not your doctor, but if you have any health concerns, I strongly recommend that you learn more about hydrogen. Get educated at holyhydrogen.com and order the best hydrogen generator known to man. Use code BRAVEHEART for $100 off your order. Because hydrogen is the smallest molecule in existence, it can pass through the cell membrane and even the blood-brain barrier to clear out inflammation and free radical damage where other antioxidants just can't get to. Visit holyhydrogen.com to see the latest technology that elevates your immune system and fights inflammation. Search their research library to see if hydrogen has a track record for helping a health concern you're dealing with. Make sure to use code BRAVEHEART for $100 off your order. Remember, holyhydrogen.com. So that's how you uh, learn about hydrogen water. And make sure that when you go to order the machine, that you put in the code BRAVEHEART to get $100 off. So with all that, Lillian, um, can you take us a little bit more into depth of what Brummett Media Group is? And what type of services you offer to the general public? 
Oh, I'd love to do that. You know, I'm gra- I'm really grateful that um, we learned about hydrogen today because my husband uses it in our hot tub instead of the, all those different chemicals that you normally have to buy, all these bottles of this, that, and the other thing and defoamers and what have you. Uh, we avoid all of that just by using hydrogen and baking soda. That's all we use in our hot tub. The water lasts a lot longer and it's just, it's a really nice conditioning feeling. You feel like you've you've come out healthier from instead of feeling like you have to take a shower now to get all that chemicals off of you it's really yeah. nice to have that option really water and you drink it and then it comes with um the little headphone with the nostrils and so right. you can have the hydrogen water and if you're just on, like right now if you're on your computer doing work you can put the little nostrils on and breathe in the hydrogen for 30 minutes a day and all your cells get rejuvenated with hydrogen. I bet that'd be good for allergies too. I suffer from allergies, so it'd be interesting to look into that. Yeah, the um, the Bremont Media Group is the title of our business and it kind of, that name it kind of acts like an umbrella. So it houses all of our different services and the stuff that we were planning, you know, we're working towards in the future here. Lots coming up. But right now, it involves Dave's Angle Hill Studio, which is in the lower half of our home. And he does drum teaching and repairs down there. He'll take a drum that's been like broken into pieces and he can put it back together. So no drum is beyond repair in his mind. He also runs the Drum It Forward program, which if you have him on on your show later on uh, in the future, he'll be able to tell you more about that. We also run the Brummett's Conscious blog. This is a daily blog, and it's been going on for almost 20 years now. And this offers all kinds of inspiring, positive, proactive topics. And it's trying to get people to lead a more proactive and conscious lifestyle, sharing tools and resources in order to help them do so. And then we have the Brummett with, or sorry, the Drummit with Brummett blog. And that is uh, more along the lines of serving musicians with a heavy slant towards drummers and percussionists. And the Brummett Media Channel, which is our show on YouTube. We have about five playlists now there, but we're working on building quite a few more. We cover things like entrepreneur, networking, marketing, and writer advice there currently, but we're going to be growing it more as the future. You'll see some trailers about us too, little mini videos about us and our services and books and stuff there. We have six books currently on Amazon. We have a trilogy coming out this summer and a couple more books and draft manuscript behind that lots of stuff going on all the time <laughs> well that's amazing so people go to uh lillian and day uh his website their website which was on the screen and follow them and connect with them I, we're just grateful to get to know you so we're going to end now but stay on the line at mm-hmm. the end and we'll just chat when we're finished so everyone thank you so much for joining the show today and getting to know a little bit about lillian and what she has to offer and learning more about uh, hydrogen water, um, please go to my website, which is braveheartworkshops.com to learn more about this travel to connect. Give me some ideas where you'd like to go and we can you know, set up any destination you wanna go to and it's so fun to connect with others. So thanks again, Lillian, for jumping on the show today and joining in. Oh, real pleasure. And thanks again, everyone, for joining us today. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. Thank you for joining us on The Connection Show. We'd appreciate your support. Please go to either our Patreon or our PayPal page to support our show. We love our podcast guests and social media subscribers, so you don't miss any of our shows. Go to our website today at braveheartworkshops.com and our Contact Us page. Click on all our social media links and subscribe to and like all our pages. Our affiliate partners, thank you for your support. Go to our affiliate partners page on our website and order from them today. They're offering discounts when you mention Braveheart. Click on their website links to order from them today.